In the early hours of Friday, a drone explosion over central Tel Aviv struck several buildings, resulting in the death of one person. The Israeli military identified the drone as Iranian-made and launched from Yemen, attributing the attack to the Houthi rebels. Yahya Sari, a military spokesman for the Houthis, claimed responsibility for the strike, stating it was conducted using a new type of drone capable of evading interception systems. The Yemeni armed forces, with the help of God, carried out a special military operation targeting one of the important objectives in the occupied Yaffa area, known in Israel as Tel Aviv. The operation was executed with a new drone named Yaffa, capable of bypassing the enemy's interception systems and undetectable by radars. The operation successfully achieved its objectives. He declared Tel Aviv, Israel's commercial capital, an unsafe area and emphasized it would be a primary target within the range of their weapons. The Yemeni armed forces declare the occupied Yaffa area an unsafe zone and it will be a primary target for our weapons. We will focus on targeting the Zionist enemy's internal front and reaching deep into their territory. The Houthis claim to have list of sensitive military and security areas and has vowed to continue these strikes in retaliation to IDF's military operation in Gaza. By announcing this special operation, the Yemeni armed forces confirm having a list of targets in occupied Palestine, including sensitive military and security targets, and will continue, with God's help, to strike these targets in response to the enemy's massacres and daily crimes against our brothers in the Gaza Strip. The attack occurred shortly after Israel's air force announced the killing of two senior commanders of Hezbollah, an Iran-backed group based in southern Lebanon. Hezbollah and Israel have been engaged in reciprocal fire across the border since Hezbollah launched rockets following Israel's military offensive in Gaza, a response to the Hamas attack on October 7th. Both Hezbollah and the Houthis, backed by Iran, have stated they are acting in solidarity with the Palestinians. In response to the drone strike, police and bomb disposal units were deployed to the scene in Tel Aviv to search for suspicious objects and additional threats. Police are still working to investigate the cause of the explosion, the exact uh, results of the explosion, because as you can see, various buildings were affected. We don't know exactly the blast radius just yet, and that's what we're doing at this time. We're asking the public to please stay clear of this area because it's still an active zone that we're investigating. There can still be remnants that are very dangerous to the public. Authorities urged residents to respect safety instructions and not to approach or touch debris or shrapnel that may contain explosives.